How would you feel if your daughter was to read a scandalous story about you in the news of the world tomorrow? Um, well, as long as they said how wonderful I was in bed, I wouldn't mind too much. <laughs> and she could take it with a pinch of salt, I should think. They wouldn't hurt you? No, it wouldn't hurt me. There's so, been plenty that have tried to do that already. So the public can expect Max Clifford to continue in the same vein as before? I hope so. Who knows? Who knows? I've upset a lot of very powerful and a lot of important people, particularly in the establishment. And they are important and they are powerful. I've had death threats for the last three or four years. Maybe one day someone's going to take it a bit further. Death threats from whom? Well, who knows? They don't leave their name and calling card. <laughs> and I suppose that you could always reckon in this particular British society that given the kind of stories you're interested in, you're never going to be out of a job. Well, I think, I think uh, you know, it, it's hypocrisy. We're, we're wonderful at it. I mean, and, uh, and the whole world loves a British scandal because so many of, uh, of our um, um, politicians, so many of our aristocrats are so pompous, are so arrogant, that when they'll be seen to be caught with their trousers down, it's entertainment for the rest of the world. Bread and circuses for the masses. Well, something like that.